Welcome to the best of the week recap. Our first video blog. First game we had was Kansas at Baylor. Kansas went into Baylor, got a tough six point win. Baylor um, gave them some some fits a little bit. Uh, they have some good players. I uh, don't think they have the guard play to make a run in the tournament. As far as Kansas goes, I think they're the best team overall. Uh, I still think there's really no good team in college basketball, but if I had to pick one, Kansas would be it. They play at Texas and home against Iowa State, and if they take care of those games, they can be the number one seed going into the tournament. Next game we had was the Cavaliers at Toronto. Uh, it was it was a close game, but Cle Cleveland led the whole way until the fourth quarter where Toronto outscored them by 11. Down the stretch, they made the plays. The Cavaliers didn't. Uh, Kyle Lowry hit a game winner. Uh, he also had a career high of 43. LeBron had his opportunity. LeBron missed. Funny story about Kyle Lowry. I was actually at David Buster's last year uh, in Philadelphia. And uh, apparently he was there, him and his buddy, and I think some of his family were just there messing around. Um, I saw a couple guys shooting. I didn't know who it was at the time. Uh, and Lowry was just hitting everything. Um, once he left, uh, someone goes to me, he's like, yeah, that was Kyle Lowry. I was like, well, damn, I wish I knew that because I was like, damn, I would have tried to play him in the um, hot shot just so he could whoop me and just so I could tell people that story. <laughs> but I was on, I didn't, so I don't have that story. The next game was uh, Warriors at Thunder, game of the week, maybe the game of the year. Uh, the Thunder led the whole way, but when you give a great team like the Warriors a chance to stay in it, they're going to make you pay. Steph made him pay. Iguodala made him pay. Those guys are unbelievable. Uh, Steph is going to be Steph. That shot at the end, some 30-some-odd footer in overtime. I mean, I'm, I'm not even surprised anymore. Uh, and... Far as the Warriors go, no one's beating them in seven. They're repeating. I don't care what you say. Warriors are the best team in basketball. They're repeating. It's just gonna happen. Next game we have was Caps at the at the Blackhawks. Uh, they split the season series. Uh, the Blackhawks are a different team, and I guess towards the end of the year and into the playoffs, they just they're seasoned. They're hard to beat in the playoffs. They just playoff hockey for them is just second nature. Next thing we want to go over is uh, combine standouts. Uh, Keith Marshall, running back out of Georgia. Uh, he backed up Gurley and Chubb. He ran a 4.3140. I definitely think that will get him drafted. Uh, he has a lot of talent. Injuries kind of plagued him. As I said, he was r running backs at Georgia. I mean, they just turned him out left and right. Uh, another player stood out, Will Fuller. He ran a 4.3240. Not really a surprise, but this guy's a playmaker. I actually saw him play live in 2014. I told Ollie he was the best player on Notre Dame. Ollie disagreed. After this year, Ollie agreed. <laughs> um, the kid's a beast. He's a he kind of reminds me a little bit of OBJ as far as speed wise. Uh, we'll see what happens when he gets in the, uh, in the NFL and plays a little bit. I think he's gonna play a slot, and I think it'll be a really good slot player for the team that drafts him. Another player who kind of not surprised, but is is someone to watch is Braxton Miller. Uh, he was number one in both shuttle drills, the twenty and the sixty. Be interesting to see how he transitions to the NFL playing receiver as he only did it one year at Ohio State. Um, he's going to be a bit of a project. Uh, he has talent. Uh, he's been a playmaker his entire life, so I think he can make a team. I think he can help them out. just depends if he gets the right coaching and just how the transition to receiver in the NFL goes. Next thing we want to go to the shoe, the shoe or the shoes of the week. We have the Jordan 3s and Jordan 8s uh, in the Lakers colors. It's pretty much the only thing the Lakers have going for him. Uh, and also, they'll probably get the top pick. Personally, I would have picked the Jordan 3s. I, those, to me, look a little bit something I could possibly wear. Actually, I probably wouldn't wear any of those, let's be honest. But they were the cooler ones. Song of the week, we had Ellie Goling, uh, Something the Way You Move. She just keeps putting out hits. Insert heart emoji right here. Nothing really else you can say about her. Rory. Rory had a okay week. He was fine. Towards the weekend, he got a little bit sick, uh, had a stomach bug, but reports say he'll be ready to go early for early next week. Right now, I'll say he's day-to-day -day with the stomach bug, but he'll, he's recovering very nicely. The week ahead, we got coming up. We got Ollie's doing an Oscars review that will be posted sometime tomorrow. Um, obviously, the Oscars are tonight. Uh, we're doing a mac and cheese taste test uh, for Tuesday. I got five different ones I'm going to try out. Um, I'm a macaroni and cheese kind of serve so we'll see how it goes uh, and the last thing uh, we're almost in March which is closer to warm weather thanks again peace